What's going on y'all? We're out here today doing a little bit of crappie fishing, but today I'm going to be specifically telling y'all, showing y'all everything y'all need to know to be able to go out there and catch crappie. Catching crappie is some of the funnest fish you can get out there and get on. They taste awesome and they're relatively easy to catch. So after this video, I feel like y'all are going to have a pretty good grasp on what you need to do to go out there and load the boat up with crappie. All right, so the rig I'm starting with today is a 32nd ounce VMC Neon Moon jig head. Love the hooks right here. Uh, got it rigged up to a Bobby Garland, just a straight tail right there. A little on the natural side, uh, blue and green, silver flake, and I'm running four pound monofilament. So all I'm gonna do is take this jig and try my best to pitch it close to some of these little trees right here. And see if we can find some crappie. Oh, I had one on. I just lost one. Oh boy, my rod broke and I got a fish. I broke my rod. I got a fish on. Oh, oh it's a crappie. Oh, that's a decent one. Definitely a keeper. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, y'all, there goes that rod. <laughs> Good thing I brought a few of them. Oh, but that is a decent, decent fish right there. Came in here on this tree and bam. I don't think that joker was getting off. He swallowed it. We are keeping the day, so this guy's gonna go in the box. That's a beautiful fish. All right, so we have re-rigged up now. Got the same rod as the one that broke, not the broken rod, but a different one. So we'll see if this one holds up. This is a $30 Quantum, I think it's a Quantum, extra light rod right here, um, made for, for panfish but it's only a $30 combo. And I mean, for doing stuff like this, you don't need something that's just stupid expensive. So even though I broke that one, I'll probably go out and replace it with the same kind. He's on. He don't, yeah, he swims sideways on me. Yeah, he's not too, too big. Little guy. All right, well, that is our second crappie. See ya. Everybody thought we were crazy for that. Fish on, fish on, what we got? Oh, feels like a crappie. It is another keeper. All right, it's sitting right off of that tree. Boom, boom. Crappie number two, y'all. We have not been at it long at all. And these trees through here are just absolutely loaded with fish right now. Rusty over there has put four or five in the box. This is only my second one. I've hooked a few. It looks like this joker got attacked by something. Yeah, something tried to get that guy. All right, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go just cause you're a survivor. You didn't got away from something. If you're looking for a new area or somewhere that's holding crappie, you can go out there, catch a fish just like this. Um, you, you're gonna wanna look for little uh, oxbows and ponds and stuff right off of the main river or lakes and you're just looking for a lot of flooded timber um, and typically you you want the area to have a little bit of depth to it uh, so I'm in probably six foot of water or so right now but there are holes around this area that are even 12 foot um, but you know it's a pretty consistently deep depth you don't want just complete 
like swamp grounds or anything like that where it's just two to three foot deep and just a bunch of just flooded timber everywhere. Uh, but something like this is perfect for catching a lot of crappie. He's on. He's on. I think that's going to be a keeper. Yeah, it feels like a decent fish. It is. That's a decent one. Staying down. Not giant, but I think that one will keep. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah, definitely a keeper right there. Barely had that one hooked. I'm talking about barely. So they do have to be, I believe, nine inches. I'm not keeping anything unless it's 10, and this guy goes 10 and a half. So it is a keeper. Pop you in the box. <clears throat> there he is. Uh, looks like it's a good one. Feels like it's a good one. Oh yeah, good fish, good fish. Don't get off, don't get off. That's a good crappie, y'all. Get in there, boom. Look at that joker right there. Look at that beautiful fish right there. Nice, dark, long, black crappie. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Get a quick measurement on her. She is 12 and a half. All right. There's three different retrieves that I like to use. One of the most common and easiest ones is just throwing it out there, letting it get down, and then just kind of real slowly reeling it back to you. Uh, that's kind of effective when the fish are being really, really lazy. They're not chasing, they're not aggressive, they're not feeding real heavy. Just kind of slowly working it, making it look like it's not an erratic bait. Um, that's one retrieve. Another one that I like to do is throw it out there and kind of as I'm reeling it back to me a couple of feet, give it a couple of light twitches. Keep going. And a couple of light twitches just like that. Third retrieve, third and final retrieve that I like to do with these jigs. I'm throwing it out there. I let it get down a little ways and then I'll shake it up and I just let it fall. Shake it up, let it fall. He's on. That's a decent feeling one. That one feels decent. Definitely gonna be a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Don't get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. Oh. Oh. That one might go 15. Internet, internet, let's go, let's go. That one might go 15, y'all. Y'all, look at that crappie right there. That is an absolute hoss. Go ahead and get a quick measurement on her. See what she goes. Hoping she goes 15. She might be a little shorter. Everything right? All right, y'all, this guy's sitting right at about 15 inches. Beautiful, beautiful big crappie. Go ahead and throw this guy in the box. We are on some crappie today, y'all. Easiest way to get out there, catch crappie, is just come out here, find you a good place, a lot of cypress trees, throw around the cypress trees, and you're going to find crappie. Oh, he's on. He's on. That's another decent filling fish. Oh my god, didn't look too decent. Uh oh. I think he might keep. Let's see here. Yeah, that one's gonna go 11 inches. Man, he was pulling a lot harder than what he is, I tell you that. Yeah, that one's doing a little over 10 right there. So, another keeper.
All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. Had a pretty decent morning out here. I got five or six crappie in the box, released a couple more, missed a lot of fish. Rusty tore them up over there. He's got seven or eight in his box and, and threw back a lot more. He did a lot better than I did, but I hope this video was helpful. If it was, hit that like button, comment, and y'all hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 25,000 subscribers this year. I need all of your help to do that. But yeah, we'll see y'all next time.